My name is Joey Valdez. I'm outside Ingrid's Cafe for Moroccan dinner night. I'm here with Fawn. Fawn, I hear you're a music artist. I am. Tell me about tonight. I heard you hosted the, the event. I did. I was honored to be asked to host this at Ingrid's Cafe for the traditional Moroccan dinner. And we presented an award, Diversity, Diversity News Magazine and Diversity News presented a five-star award to Ingrid at her cafe for all kinds of amazing things. You can probably come in and see um, her certificate and eat at her cafe. It was really fun, really fun night. How's her food? It's delicious. It's delicious. I especially enjoy the quinoa and the eggplant. Mmm, sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about some of the projects you're currently working on. Well, I, I just had um, a hit song went to number six on the Billboard dance charts, and I'm currently composing some orchestral music for a film coming up, and I'm in a couple magazines. I just won... Um, cover model of the year for a large and in charge magazine and just doing a lot of work with animals and children and rescue work. What is it that inspired you to become an artist? Oh, I think um, the music chose me. I didn't choose it. I started at age six months in national TV commercials and then by the time I was 10 I was writing and singing jingles. So I don't know, it just kind of was coming out of me. So I don't know that it, I was really inspired. I just felt like it was part of who I was. And what is the message that you try to get across with your music? Be who you're born to be and be a light in the world. How would you classify your music? Mm, Thought-provoking messages set to movement. I write about my life experiences. I have a wide uh, genre of music that I write. For example, orchestral and piano compositions for film and TV, and then I sing in every language, and the, dan the hit that I had was a dance pop song, so I write in every style. So pretty much a mishmash of everything, of everything I've ever heard and been inspired by. Do you have a favorite artist that you work with? Um, oh, there's so many. I really enjoyed working with Chad Jack and Tim Lettier. Um Hoping in the future to work with a couple other jazz producers. Um, I don't know. I can't really pick. It's kind of like picking apples and oranges. Like it's all fruit, and you love fruit. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I've I've enjoyed working with everyone. I haven't had a bad experience yet. Let me put it that way. What's next for you? What's next is I have two albums. Uh, my piano compositions album. I have three more pieces to record, and my electro dance album. I have three more pieces to record for that, and then I'm done with that. And I'm doing a Christmas album, and uh, just working on this film. Awesome, awesome. Do you have a website for the viewers out there where they can find your music? Sure. You can um, just Google Fawn. I'm on IMDb under Fawn number two. Um, but you can go to fawnmusic.com or facebook.com forward slash fawnmusic or myspace fawn aka songgirl with the S-O-N-G-I-R-L. So if you just Google fawn, composer, fawn, singer, fawn, songgirl, you'll find me. I'm wondering what happened to fawn number one? <laughs> I don't know, but she was born before me, darn it, so she got the spot. <laughs> I put it like she was in some movie in the 80s. I'm like, okay, you got me beat. <laughs> Darn it. I don't know. It might have been something risque, though. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I would have loved to see that. <laughs> <laughs> not, you're not going to be seeing me. Turtlenecks. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fawn, for your time. Thank you. Thank it was you so a much pleasure meeting me. you. Yeah, it was great meeting you. Thank you.